Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, today's show is sponsored by Crimson Ironworks. There's Tyler Fraser's phone number right there if you'd like to give him a call. I want to begin the show by talking about Matthew McConaughey. I just want everyone to know that I am a huge Matthew McConaughey fan. and I think he's a good guy. Unfortunately, and I'm, I'm giving him some slack. Many of you might not give him much slack, but I'm going to give him some slack. Because just like many traditional liberals that we always got along with, that's where he is. He's not one of these crazy woke people. He is not. He has a little bit of traditional liberal in him, and he's got a little conservative libertarian in him. But his heart's in the right place. He's just misguided. And you always got to be careful when the emotion is applied to the wrong spot. I will sum up my response to his comments about guns as follows. I don't believe there is any evidence at all, at all, that law-abiding gun owners are a problem. It is mentally ill, it is criminals, it is evil people, and we all know they will get their hands on guns no matter what. And this 18 to 21 year old, is there anything that says that a 19 and a 20 and a 21 year old won't do what an 18 year old would do? Shoot up a school? Where's the empirical evidence on that? Where is it? I went on a gun buying spree uh, a year or two ago. Every time I bought a gun from the gun place, I filled out a form and I had to come back later to buy the gun. They did a background check on me. I don't know what other laws are necessary for that. I mean, that's the way I bought a gun. All of these gun control folks, but I feel bad because Matthew McConaughey is being used. He's being used. George Orwell, today in history in 1949, he wrote his famous 1984 book about Big Brother, about government controlling our lives. It's truly amazing. It's a prophecy. It's a prophecy. And it's scary. Who would have ever thought 1984 would deliver some truth? Steve Bannon is a street fighting brawler. I can connect to this guy. He's a lot like me. He'll fight. He has subpoenaed Nancy Pelosi and others on this committee to his hearing, to his trial. He's got to cross-examine them. You know, they can't. Can you imagine having the opportunity to cross-examine Nancy Pelosi about her role in January 6th? Her responsibility to protect the House and intentionally not doing it? Good for him. Uh, the Joe Biden administration is now blaming Trump for all the problems in the economy. <laughs> they went in doubt, well, let's just blame Trump, see if that works. Biden's at 34% approval rating. I don't know how he's that. Now we now know, based upon this immigration, isn't it crazy that they've made all states a border state now? In other words, it's not that, okay, you live near the Mexican border, you run the risk of having a bunch of illegals. Now, no matter what state you're in, they'll ship them to you. <laughs> Can't make it up. And then Yellen. This is our Secretary of the Treasury, the numero uno economics officer in the Biden administration, and she says she hopes inflation goes down. She's going to hope it away. It's unbelievable. she got no answers. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. want to thank Crimson Ironworks.